Hello, hello, hello. It's Monday and I have missed you all. <clears throat> I have missed you all. It is Monday and Monday evenings, you spend in the kitchen with me, the amazing vegan. Welcome to the kitchen. Y'all come on in here. I'm having me a little lavender tea. Love lavender tea. It relaxes you just the right amount. Y'all come on in this kitchen. Come on in, take a look around, and then bring in your family and your friends, all right? It is such a beautiful day. The weather is absolutely perfect, in my opinion. I know some of you all like the hot weather, the warm weather, where the sun is shining and it's, I don't know, beach day, and you bring your tops down on your cars and get to ride your bikes and whatnot. It's still bike weather, though. It's really nice, you know, just dress a little put on a heavier jacket, but it's really nice out. The, the leaves are starting to fall. I'm excited. The leaves are starting to fall. The wind has picked up. It's beautiful outside. It's absolutely beautiful. Come on in. Don't stand in the window and peek. Come on in the kitchen with me so that I can acknowledge you properly, dear, okay? I love you all and I miss you. I miss you, I miss you. Last week, we took, a, we took a day off from it, and it's okay. Sometimes you gotta take a little break. When, you, when you're feeling a little overwhelmed, or you're feeling a little tired, or your, your plate is full, it's okay sometimes to say, I'm just gonna take a break with this one for a minute. It's, it's perfectly fine to do that. It's perfectly fine. Whether it be your job, um, just whatever it is that you're doing, even sometimes from family, we have to say, I'm gonna sit this one out. I'm gonna take a breather. I'm going to hit the reset button. I hit the reset button all the time, especially um, when I've been indulging in some things like possibly what we're making today, I may indulge just a little bit, but sometimes I have to hit the reset button and do a good uh, juicing and cleanse myself really good. Hi, Jordan. I miss you, little lady. And hit the reset button and do um, some thorough cleansing, you know, some juicing, stuff like that. And it's okay to hit the reset button from time to time. If you have to, you have to. If you need to take a rest, you need to take a rest. It's okay to do so. Hello, everyone. Come on in this kitchen with me. Don't you dare stand in that window and watch. Come on in here. I'm having some tea. I had all the windows open and the breeze was so wonderful. I said, let me drink some tea. I had plenty enough water today, so I'll, I'll just drink some tea for today. You all come in, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna take one more sip, we're gonna get started. Today, look at what we have today. What we doing with these bananas today, y'all? Y'all had your potassium for the day? Okay. We are going to be making some soft, warm banana bread cookies. Nothing screams fall like banana bread, okay? Nothing screams fall like soft banana bread. But these are gonna be some banana bread cookies, so you can just grab and go. You don't have to go through the hassle of slicing it and making sure, hey KJ, hi Indy. Making sure you have the right the right size slice and all that other stuff. And we're gonna frost them and we're gonna top them with some toasted walnuts. This is going to be so good. So let's get ready, okay? So you wanna use, you need half a cup of ripe bananas. So I'm just gonna mash out some bananas and when we get to half a cup, then we'll know we got half a cup. It's Monday, y'all. I, I need to get me a fork. So we just need half a cup. So we're going to mash them. Use ripe bananas, okay? You have to use ripe bananas with this. Always use a ripe banana when you're using it for a recipe or you're doing some cookies or uh, some breads or cakes or something. You want ripe bananas. These are ripe. I actually would prefer them to be, for them to be all the way black like this. But these are ripe, so we're going to use them. And also the, the, the best part, one of the best parts about the fall is that those of you that use a lot of produce like myself, yeah, we're gonna add another banana. That use a lot of produce like myself, you get fruit flies. 
or gnats, whatever you want to call them. And then when the weather change is over, they go away. Cause you, they're annoying, they really are. And I use so much fresh produce, it's kind of hard to keep them down. I keep them under control now. Did they just not just around here taking over the house? But to me, in my mind, they take over. And I don't like them, I'm sorry. I know everything has a purpose, but I'm not friendly with those too much. Hey, Holly. And I wanted to say thank you to all of you all who share any advertising concerning myself, Amazing Vegan, and what we're doing for sharing the lives, for sharing pictures, for sharing advertising. Thank you for all of it. I appreciate you all. So those of you that's coming in, Miss LaShawn LaShawn, hello dear. For those of you who are just coming in, we are doing some soft banana bread cookies. Mm. So we're just mashing up a half cup of some ripened bananas. I love bananas. I'll eat them just like that. I freeze them. I think I put a banana in every smoothie I make. I don't care what kind of smoothie it is. I think I toast the banana in. I love I love bananas. I do. I love bananas. I like banana pancakes. I just like bananas. So we're gonna keep smashing this a little bit. And normally I kind of like pre-measure out some things. I don't think I pre-measured out anything today. And preheat your oven to 350, okay? How was everybody's weekend? Don't forget to tag and share. Tag and share. I had my window open because that air is everything, okay? I think I closed it though because I didn't want a lot of the outside noise to come in. You know, you might hear a kid scream from a neighbor or something. I don't know. <laughs> How was everybody's weekend? Talk to me. Hello, we're here together. We are here together. What did y'all do this weekend? Did anybody take out some me time? Hello, Chinetta. Chinita. I know everybody mispronounces your name all the time. I should know better, but I love you anyway. It's not that cold. It's the temperature. The weather is perfect. I could actually live in a city that has weather like this all the time. Okay, so we have our... <laughs> it wasn't long enough. <laughs> so we have our half cup of ripe banana. We do have measured out. Hey, May. We do have measured out. About two tablespoons of butter and we're just going to add that right into the banana and to scrape all of it out and then we're going to mix one flax egg in some of you say what is a flax egg i don't know what that is so if you ever want to substitute if you're making a high iron if you ever want to make a recipe and it's not a vegan recipe, but you want to make it a vegan recipe and you want to use and you don't like the egg replacer. Now, this egg replacer stuff that come in this little yellow box and stuff like that, I don't normally use those. I don't like them. Um, it just tastes a little weird. Good for you. I'm glad you did study, but always take out some time for yourself. <laughs> so you're going to take some to make a flax egg. You need some flaxseed meal, OK? If you don't have the meal and you just have flaxseed, just put it in a blender or food processor and just break it down until it looks like meal. And I'm going to show you. Very fine. You can see that. Very fine. It's meal. So you're going to add one tablespoon of meal, one tablespoon of meal, and three tablespoons of water. And then you're just going to sit it to the side, put it in a refrigerator, and it's going to thicken. And that's your one egg. Can we see that? You all, you all can see that. Yeah, that's kind of close. You can see it. It thickens. So it's really thick. And this is your egg substitute. 
It holds and binds and thickens and all that stuff like eggs. But it does not make your... Um, absolutely, Miss Melissa Diane. Absolutely. I'm here for it. I am here for it. You know that I am. So you're going to sit that to the side. But it does not make your cake or your cookies or whatever you're making. It doesn't make it cakey like a bread. You know, like if you do the egg. Okay, so it turns, you, this is your eggs. So we're going to add that. So one tablespoon to three tablespoons of water, it replaces one egg. So you're going to double that for... <laughs> we're live. You're going to double that for every egg, okay? You're going to double that for every egg. Thank God that was a clean spoon and we was already using it, right? <laughs> so we're going to add in our flax egg. We're going to use one-fourth cup of maple. Yes, I use a lot of maple because I try. Even though when I do use sugar, I use organic cane sugar, which is good. But I try to stay away from as much sugar as I can, possibly can. Nah, I'm not saying I stay away from it all together. But I stay away from it as much as I possibly can. Okay? So one-fourth cup of maple. And you don't need any more than that because your bananas are already sweetened. Bananas give off natural sugar. Okay? I'm going to take a tea break. I'm drinking some lavender tea. Yeah. I'm not sick or anything. I just, I love tea. And it just perfectly matches the weather today. And I've all, I always have a glass of water on standby because I'm talking so much and my mouth gets dry. Yeah, but Melissa, call me, okay? Okay. So we're going to use one and one-fourth cup of almond flour. And these cookies are, for those of you that need it to be, gluten-free, okay? Gluten-free. And like I said, I didn't measure out anything today. I did say lavender tea. <laughs> yes, I did. I said lavender tea. I am drinking some lavender tea. And I love... I missed it this year. But next year, I'm definitely going back. Listen, listen, tip. When you're measuring out almond flour... You can pack it as if you were packing like a brown sugar. Definitely pack it. But I, I missed it this year, but next year I promise that I'm there. I love going to the lavender fields and picking my own lavender. Hello, Jamal. Thank you all for joining me in the kitchen today. Don't forget to tag and share. I love going to the lavender fields and picking my own lavender. And picking my own lavender. It's so refreshing. It's peaceful. And all that good stuff. My youngest daughter went with me. And before you knew it, we had our shoes off. The only thing about it, it's a lot of bees. But we did not, I mean, not one time get stung by any bees. So we're going to pour in our almond flour. And then we're going to get one, one fourth cup of coconut flour. And we need a half teaspoon of baking soda. Greetings! Listen, you all, I, I, I'm, I'm honored when... Um, I'm honored when my pastor comes on. I really am. Hey, Corey. Those of you that are just tuning in, we are making... We are making some soft... And I'm getting messy. We're making some soft banana bread cookies. Mm -hmm. The weather is nice and cool. There's nothing like some soft banana bread some soft banana but again hi brenda this is these cookies 
It's not the loaf. We don't have to worry about slicing and making sure everybody gets the appropriate slice. These are cookies. And we're gonna top them with some frosting and some toasted walnuts. <laughs> and I know not to put walnuts. Uh, no, you do eat walnuts. You eat walnuts. Okay, yeah, you eat nuts. Hi, Dewan. Hi, everybody. We need a half teaspoon of salt. I didn't pause for a minute, but I'm back. And we need, of course, some cinnamon. Why am I so messy today? What is going on here? Hi, Jess. I love you all so much. Thank you for joining me today. I want to put a little bit more cinnamon in. Just a little bit. Just a little. I am well, Brenda Johnson. Thank you, sister. I love you. I'm glad you were able to join me today in this kitchen. So we have everything in here and we're just going to mix it. All right, y'all. Y'all ready for the question of the week? What'd you eat for dinner? <laughs> Let's go. I want to hear it. And I'm just going to mix it well. If you're better, because sometimes bananas can kind of give you a you're mashing too much because it is fruit and it had, does have a certain amount of water. Hi, Hillary. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Hillary. Listen, it's time to pull out these little sweaters, okay? I'm so excited about this. It's sweater weather, and I absolutely love it. Where's Gabby? She had on a sweater the other day that said sweater weather. I want that little sweater. I got to find me one of those. It was so cute. Sweater weather. It indeed is. So we already have our baking sheet. We already have our baking sheets lined with some parchment paper. When you got parchment paper, you don't have to worry about um, using spraying it down and so it will be non-stick and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna put this in a refrigerator and let it chill for a couple minutes. And while this is chilling, we wanna to put together, you know what I wanna do? My light bulb came on. So our cookies calls for some toasted walnuts on top, okay? I don't know if I wanna put these walnuts to toast them in the oven or do I wanna put them in the air fryer? We're live. <laughs> my baby broke. Listen, this is my baby and it broke. Listen, I tell y'all every week, when we are on live, anything can happen. I absolutely love, hi Tracy. I absolutely love to be on live. When I'm just recording and making videos to post them and to share them with you all, it's no fun. This live stuff is where it is. That's okay. This one shouldn't break. So all the videos that I do, I never post them because I have to start over a thousand times. And then I just get to the point where I say, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Hi, Marky. So we're going to put this dough into the refrigerator just for a few minutes, okay? And then we'll come back. We'll get it out and then we'll put it, roll them out and put them in the oven. Thank you for tuning in. For those of you that are just tuning in, today we are making some soft banana bread cookies. Mmm. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and then we'll start on the frosting for our cookies. Hi, Trina. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Just for a few seconds. A few minutes is all we need. So far, the raw is better, do you? <laughs> Absolutely, Hillary. I love I love this just the, the raw 
myself and nothing scripted. I don't like scripted because then I have to constantly. And then you want to act uh, as not authentic. Kisses to you, Trina. So we're going to get started with our frosting. So already we have some, some butter in here, okay? And we need some powdered sugar. So this is the butter if, for those of you, because I know you all, you all say, you never show us the packaging and I'm so sorry. This is the packaging today for today's butter, okay? This is for today. This is not the only brand that I use, but I do use this brand and I like it a lot. So, you want to put your butter in, you want to put your powdered sugar in. You need half a cup of powdered sugar. If when you and when you are making your frosting and your frosting is too thick, you can add little drizzles of some plant-based butter. I'll use I mean milk. I'll use some almond milk if it's too thick, just to loosen it up a little bit, okay? And that, did, that didn't measure out well. I'll just pour a little bit. There we go. Ooh. Sugar cloud. Sugar cloud. I, Hillary, I say the same thing. I appreciate, listen, all of the raw. Okay? All of it. So we add two tablespoons of cream cheese. I am going to use this one here. This is going to be good. It's ready. It's the perfect weather for a warm treat. What I do with it? It's the perfect weather for a warm treat. Soak it in. <laughs> it's like <laughs> we use a, a tablespoon and a half of some vanilla. I love Madagascar vanilla. Did I say a tablespoon? That's a teaspoon. That was a half a teaspoon. No, it wasn't. Uh, somebody say, Chris, go get them glasses out the drawer. <laughs> go get them glasses. <laughs> Listen. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Mimi. Yes, ma'am. They are going to taste like some warm banana bread. Yes, they are soft banana bread cookies. You can put frosting on if you want. If you don't want to, um, you don't have to. It's up to you. But I want to put some frosting on there and some toasted walnuts. Or you can use toasted pecans or whatever you want to do. Or you don't have to do nuts at all if you don't want to. So they're going to be good. And they're easier. And if you have children, this is a plus. You don't have to worry about them in there with that knife. And slicing it, and then you come back in there, and the slices are not even. They just the whole loaf is cut diagonal. Listen, get this cookie out this jar and put it in your little lunch bag, or go in there and sit down until dinner done, or whatever, or after dinner. Grab your cookie and head that away. All right. Thank you, KJ. So we're gonna have a little noise for a second. I'm just gonna mix this up for a minute, just a little bit. And again, if if your if your frosting is too thick, you can add little drops, little drops of milk until it loosens up to the consistency you want it to be. But so far, this is looking good. It's the right amount. You don't have to do it too long. It's long enough to break down that butter and that cream cheese. No special guest today, Hillary. My last guest, I told him about himself, okay? And he says, I was just being myself. So no special guest today. However, October is this is this is our last our last live Monday for September. So October is fastly, fastly approaching. And we have some new listen, I I I, I shared a post. No, no, no. You're not, you're not the guest again. Stay where you are. Hi, Vicky. Stay where you are. So October is the month for comfort foods. 
I know, honey. I love a good comfort food. But the good thing about these, this comfort food, the thing about this comfort, these comfort foods is they're vegan. So you can basically, you can kind of indulge a little bit and you don't feel so bad. So what are some of you all's favorite comfort foods? And I am going to take them into consideration. Although so far I do have a pretty nice lineup. But if I may have missed something that you like, no, he's not training. Don't, don't entertain that. He, KJ can stay right where he is, okay? So what are some of you all's comfort foods that you like? And our frosting is done. Our frosting is done. It is. Oh, goodness. I want to taste it. I'm going to get our cookies. No. I'm going to get our dough so we can roll out our cookies and bake them, which does not take long at all. We're going to frost them. Okay, so when as I'm going, <laughs> those are your comfort foods, cauliflower bites and all flavors. Okay, while well, I head over to the fridge to get the dough, let you all vote. I'm going to let you all vote. Should we put the toast uh, nuts in the oven or put them in the air fryer? Okay, let's go. I'm going to get the dough. And I already have our baking sheet already lined and ready. Air fryer, okay. So far, air fryers. No one else has said anything. I'm sure India likes that. I'm gonna switch this out. I'm so mad, my little friend broke. That was one of my best friends. That's okay. I gotta replace it. It's all right. Don't cry, girl. It's all right. Okay. So let's just take some. Yeah, that chilled fast. And make them whatever size you want. This is this is ideal. This is a nice size little ball. So you're gonna roll them out. Put them on your. Y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see? Good. Okay. So we're gonna put them on our baking sheet. I like this size. This size is good. And you're gonna smash, you're gonna pat them down, pat them a little bit too, so you don't wanna make them too big. What are some of you all's favorite comfort foods? Someone told me their comfort food, one of their comfort foods were chili. Some good spicy hot chili. It's one of mine's too. Baked goods, it's gonna always be comfort food for me sometimes. For the most part, anyway. These smell so good. This They smell just like banana bread, y'all. I promise. Smell just like banana bread. Oh, my goodness. This weather is perfect. And exercising in this weather is perfect, too. You, you first, well, walking. That's what I, my exercise is walking. A good two to three miles. And I first start, it's really cold and I'm out there like. <laughs> but the more I walk, I warm up and, and it's okay. By the time I'm done, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. Here we go. Hey, Ish. What are some of you all's favorite comfort foods? I want to know. Chips or crackers? Um... More so of a dish, a food, instead of a snack, I'll say. So foods. Uh, again, somebody said theirs was, was chili. Somebody else's was mac and cheese. Okay, so let's take this over here and move this here. And we're just giving them a little pat. Just a little pat. Pat, pat them down a little bit. Thank you all for joining me today. We took, a, we took a little rest last week. And again, that's okay. Sometimes you need to take a little rest. And that's okay. That is okay. Did I sound like a teacher when I said that? And that's okay. I 
uh, my niece was over the other day and she had me watching every child show in the world. I think we watched um, some stuff with some sharks and with some pigs and something with some ants. And then I got talked into watching uh, scene two, which I actually really did enjoy. <laughs> I really did enjoy that. So we're gonna pop these over into the oven. Oven on 350, y'all. Let's get some of this sticky sticky off. Hi, Asia. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. It was a good little movie. I don't know why I was so fascinated by it, but I was. So we're gonna, I guess we'll be toasting our walnuts in the air fryer. I could have just put them in the oven with the cookies, but let's try them and see what they look, how they do in the air fryer. We can always try it. We don't like them. We can just do them in the oven. We can do what we want. <laughs> we can do what we want in here today. How about that? Whatever works, we'll do it. Okay. Don't forget to tag and share. And it is indeed a tea break. <laughs> Thank you. It's sweater weather. I want to go outside. I think once I'm done here, I may go sit on the porch and do the rest of my work. It's so nice outside. The wind is blowing. It's getting dark faster. It's everything. It's really nice. It's really nice. What do y'all, so what do we have for dinner today? Let's hear about it. What do we have for dinner? So about, <laughs> listen, this lavender tea just mellows you all the way out. So just letting you in on a little hint before we toast these, um, what do we have, our walnuts. So before every show, story time. So before every show, depending on if I've had a long day, a long weekend, um, a long day or a long weekend or whatever, um, sometimes I'm a little bit more laid back and then sometimes I'm a little bit more hype, okay? If I'm too laid back, if I'm too laid back, I, ha I hype myself up, okay? Because I don't want to get on here and it's like, mm, I'm going to make some cookies, I guess. Y'all all right? First of all, it's, that's just not my personality at all, okay? So sometimes, well, I'm going to say sometimes, before every show, before I come here, I put on my music and I dance. Listen, I dance and I dance and I dance like nobody's business. I spin, I Listen, I get it in, okay? I dance in this kitchen, I dance in the dining room, I go back and forth, I stand in front of the lights, and I shake them all out, and I get all of it out of my system, and then I come on here and say, hello! <laughs> it is the best thing ever. I gave one of my secrets away, but it's the absolutely best thing ever. So sometimes, this lavender, it just, it's really, really, listen. Thank you, sister. This lavender tea will mellow you all the way out. It's a beautiful thing. Drink, drink, get y'all some lavender tea, okay? And then the lavender lemonade is even better. Ah. And if you have not had an amazing vegan lavender lemonade, honey, you are missing out, okay? I just feel like I need to throw that in there. You're missing out, okay? So let's get our walnuts. And we're going to put them in the air fryer. Say as one person. So they're already in pieces, so we don't really have to break them up. But after we toast them, we can break them up a little bit. So I'm going to go get this air fryer on. And because it's all the way over there. So I'm going to go get this. <laughs> I'm going to go get this air fryer. And we're going to put some, we're going to toast some of these walnuts in here. This, these cookies smell so good. It, they smell just like banana bread. Y'all make these cookies, okay? Make them for you. 
Make them for your little office party or whatever you got going on. Make them for the kids. Make, them for, make some for the neighbors. Really, really, really quick. Really, really easy. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ingredients just for the cookies alone. If you want to frost them, you can. If you don't want to frost them, you don't have to. But we're going to put some frosting on these cookies and some of these toasted walnuts, okay? And they'll be really, really good. I'm excited about them. So you want your bananas to be very, very, very ripe, okay? Very ripe. And we are going to go and toast. Throw some walnuts. Let me get a, um, let's take some of these. Hold on. I'm gonna put some walnuts in them and then we're gonna take them over to the air fryer. You can do walnuts, you can do pecans, whatever you like. But normally, I like a banana walnut bread, okay? so good so warm and then if it's really 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 warm oh, you can toast some nice melted butter over it if that's what you like or just eat it just like that also chocolate banana nut bread is really good too i made some a while back and it was really good so you can you all see stay with me we're gonna go toast we're gonna toast some of these in the air fryer the walnuts and we'll loose this up around and drag it on over. We can leave it over here. We're gonna put these. I guess we can just toss them in, huh? Yeah, like so. We just toss them on in there. Okay. And let's put them on 400 for, I don't know, I'll put it on 10, but it doesn't have to do 10. We're not gonna leave them in there forever, okay? I love the air fryer. I love it. I actually need a bigger one coming soon. So for the month of October, well, our cookies are almost done. For the month of October, we have some very interesting things for the month of October and November. We have some very interesting things approaching. And I will share them with you all as they come about because I want you all to be able to participate and um, and support, okay? And I do thank you all for always, and I do mean always supporting. I thank you from my heart. I really do. I thank you for always supporting and sharing our videos um, on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and YouTube and Facebook. We're all over the place with it, but it's a good all over the place, okay? We need to be everywhere because we need to enlighten people we need to enlighten people and share with everybody about this good stuff here. And a lot of people think when you say vegan that it means you have to chew on carrot sticks and eat lettuce all day. And that's very far from the truth. Very, very far from the truth. Um, I've been vegan um, for a little time now. And I don't sit around and eat carrots and lettuce all day. Now I'm going to chop them up and make something different. I know I'll take a carrot and make a carrot corn dog out of it or chop it up and make some black IP and collard green soup, that's next week. Um, yeah, but it's not just chewing on raw vegetables all day. You have to be very creative with this thing. And that's where I come in at. I am teaching you how to be creative with being a vegan. Okay? All right. So we have our, our frosting already made. If you came in late, our frosting is some powdered sugar, cream cheese, butter, and vanilla. And we are now toasting our walnuts in an air fryer. And don't forget to tag and share. It's tea time. And it's so good. It's so very good. Comfort foods. Let's hear them. What do you guys have? What are some of your comfort foods? <laughs> thank you asia we all possess it we all do we just need to learn how to go in there and get it that's all what are some of your comfort foods oh my god i smell toast i smell walnuts toasting i smell cookies baking and it smells like banana bread and it's warm and oh this tea listen this whole mood is everything This whole mood is absolutely everything. Everything, everything combined is perfect. It's perfect. 
It's so good. You love hot chocolate. Okay. So is that a comfort food for you, Asia? Hot chocolate? Or it's just something warm you like to drink when it's getting cold outside. This weather is absolutely amazing. I'm going to crack my window. This weather is absolutely amazing. I'm cracking the window. I love it. These cookies smell. Oh, fantastic. You are amazing. We can check the walnuts now. We can check the walnuts. And see what we have here. Oh, look. I think I left them in there too long, but let's see. Let's put them in our. Where's my. Here, I don't want to. I don't want to pull that thing out. Oh, yeah. That was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. This, this is really hot. So I'll sit it here really 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 hot and we toasted our walnuts absolutely perfect oh they smell great they smell great they smell great okay so the air fryer i knew the air fryer idea was going to be awesome um and it's quicker i guess than putting them in the oven i am a little old school and like to do things that way but this air fryer stuff is everything so if you're just tuning in, we're making some soft banana bread cookies. And we've already made our frosting. We toast it in our air fryer, as a matter of fact. On 400 for like, what was it, like maybe three minutes of that? Three, four minutes. We toasted some walnuts. <laughs> we, <laughs> the air fryer makes us happy. It does. We can't smell it. Smell that. Try, try. So we toasted our, our walnuts in the air fryer, and these are gonna go on top of our cookies, on top of the frosting, okay? This is gonna be so good. I air fried them for, I put it on 10, but it didn't go 10 minutes. I think it may have been in there maybe three to four minutes, not long. And some of them are a little bit, they hot too. Some of them are a little bit more toasty than others, but it's okay. Yeah. And by toasty, I mean, burnt <laughs> they're not burnt they're just toasted and they're nice and hot oh my god and they smell good so you don't have to put them in there for that long okay and so we already have our our frosting i do want to add a little bit of when they come out let's see i want to add a little cinnamon when they come out these are going to be everything okay Mr. James, how are you? <laughs> Thank you for joining. And if you're just joining, what you're looking at here is some frosting and some toasted walnuts for our soft banana bread cookies. And they smell, listen, they smell so good. This kitchen, listen, I crack, I lightly cracked my window so I can get some of that breeze. I have some lavender tea in these cookies in this oven. <laughs> This is everything. <laughs> it is such a piece in this kitchen right now, I promise you. And I have you all here with me. That's the highlight. I have you all here with me. I promise you that's the highlight. I love you all so much. So I want to put some... Let me find... What, I, what did I do with mine? Let's see here. Hold tight, beautiful people. Hold tight, I'm still here. I want to put a little... You know what? I don't I don't need a bowl for that. I don't. So let's check these. Why am I this excited about these cookies? But I am. I'm gonna take these out. And I didn't grab my silicone mitt. I just grabbed these first. So I took the, the cookies out. Oh god. This smell is everything, I promise you. So I'm gonna sit these down. that cool for just maybe two minutes and then we'll we'll frost them this is going to be good i need you all so you said yes to the vegan chili my phone died yes hillary um 
I was asking you guys what are some of your favorite, um, your favorite comfort foods because October is the month of comfort foods. No, that's not a national thing. It's just something that Amazing Vegan came up with, okay? Just something that I came up with. So we're going to be doing some comfort foods for October. And so I want to know with you all, what are some of your favorite comfort foods? Um, I have a pretty decent lineup so far. I got some good stuff lined up, y'all. So what if some... You do need to try them. I'm telling you, you do. So what are some of you all's favorite comfort foods for October? And maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to do one in your honor. How about it? So what are some of you all's... Um, I am not KJ, and please do not come on set today. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. You're allergic to onions. Hmm. Okay, so when you're doing your chili, you don't have to use onions and you don't have to use onion powder. Um, if onions are the only thing that you're allergic to, Hillary, you can definitely still. Here's the thing. When you make your own spice blend, you know exactly what's in it. That's the better way to do that. Um, even as far as with your sauces and stuff like that. If you, if you make your own blend, you know exactly what's in it. So I can help you with that. I would, I would love to help you with that. Uh, as a matter of fact, to help you with your, um, with your, uh, spice blend for chili or whatever else that you want to do. And, um, you, you still got a lot of options, you know, even though onions, I say onions are bae. One day I'm gonna come on here with a shirt on that say onions are bae. But because I, I love onions, but you don't have to have them. You can make up, make up your own and then they'll be just as good, okay? Let me know when you are ready for that. Um, please don't. So I'm gonna put these over on cooling rack. And we're almost done here. We are almost done here. And I guess you can get a little over a dozen with the rest, with the, um, the ingredients that we did. Huh. Let's, let's ice these up. Oh my goodness. And I left my, what did I do with my, one second. I had a, um, I had my, I don't know what I did with it. Stay there and look at these cookies. <laughs> Stay there. I have my cute cookie platter and I don't know what I did with it. I'll find it. So, let's do it. Please tell Hillary, please. <laughs> so let's let's put a little frosting on our cookie. I'm all the way to the side. I want y'all to see this here. And I'm gonna add some of these to toasted walnuts. Oh, I need y'all to be able to smell this. And I also want to put a little. I put a, so so definitely definitely let your cookies cool down. Okay. So I didn't because you guys have waited long enough. So I didn't let them cool. But definitely let your cookies cool so that you can have, um, your frosting won't melt, okay? Because it definitely will, like it's melting now. But it's not going to be on this plate. Hi, guys! You did make it today. I love you. So here we go. We have our soft banana bread cookies with our frosting and our toasted walnuts and a little sprinkle of cinnamon. Ooh. Look here. I'm ready. Y'all ready? Let's see what we got here. Definitely let your cookies cool down all the way first before you add your frosting because like I said, this is melting because I didn't wait. Asia, yes, honey. So let's try them. We ready? We ready. Oh, my God. 
Listen, I almost threw this plate. <laughs> I had to catch myself. I almost threw this plate. And I got my tea. Listen. I almost don't have words. I don't think, I don't know if I have words for them. Listen. Hold on. Listen. So what I have to do is go buy more bananas. Because that one, as soon as she hear me close and say, uh, until next time, she's flying down here. And these are not going to last long at all. These are so, in my word, freaking good. Okay? They are so good. Oh, They good. And they warm and soft. Oh, Tia cookies is a perfect combination for this weather, I promise. Listen, I need y'all to make these, okay? Share this recipe. Listen, you all are getting recipes for free. I need you to know that. You're getting recipes for free. You're getting the good stuff, okay? Okay? Go make these. Make these for the kids. And you saw how easy it was. They can do it too. Hi, Sandra. They can make them too. Because it's extremely easy. And so good. Didn't take that long. Just watch them with the, with the heat. So good. So very good. I promise you. And they're warm. Oh, gosh. It just tastes like a hug. <laughs> I miss my mother. They're perfect. Oh my gosh. And they are not overly sweet, okay? So if you worry about, oh, I don't eat cookies and I don't eat snack junk food because, you know, I don't like sweets and stuff. I promise you, it's the, it's the right amount because we use just the sweetness from the banana, remember? And then we use the little maple. So the cookie in itself is not sweet. If you want to, if you don't want to do the, the, the frosting for the cookie, you do not have to. But I'm telling you, you're going to miss out. But if you don't want it, that's fine. Listen. Listen, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I, it's a wonder it's still sitting here. And this, and the, these, these walnuts sitting there frosting. Listen, they're perfect, y'all. So, I'm going to let y'all go. Go get this stuff. Probably already have all of these ingredients in your house anyway make these cookies tag me in these pictures i want to see what you did okay tell me how you enjoyed them if you liked them if you had some oopsies they happen it's all right we're gonna make these cookies okay i love you all so very much i thank you for sharing this video and remember out with the bad in with the good okay Remember that and, 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 and try that out. Practice that. I'm telling you, if you practice that and you practice that and you practice that, it gets better. I promise you. It's just like playing sports. You can't just get out there on the field with a football and think y'all team going to win. I'm going to need y'all to go to some practices. I need y'all to practice. I need y'all to give it all you got. And that's the same thing with our lifestyles and changing our lifestyles and changing what we eat. We can't just decide to put in something good one day and think that's just going to clear out years and years and years and years of things that we've put in that wasn't good. But can practice it. Continue to go with it. Continue to go with it. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Be encouraged. And you'll come off just fine. Okay? I love you all. And until next time, please take special care of yourself. Okay? I love you.